All right, this is um, this is a clutch, the clutch module or the clutch switch for a uh, BMW E46, and it it came out of a 2005 M3, and um, let's see how. Uh, the short story is, I have two M3s. I have a 2004 E46 and I have a 2005 E46. And the 2000, in the 2004 E46, the um, driving around um, recently and then um, parked it for about, I don't know, five days or something, maybe a week, and came out all of a sudden the... Um, car wouldn't start so got on the forums looked around and um, the path of least resistance was a new key and I had when I bought the car used in 2004 um, sorry 2014 um, the kid I bought it from only had one key so I bought um, I bought an extra key at a BMW dealership that I'm friendly with, um, friendly with the guy that works in the parts department. So he sold it to me for a pretty good deal. But they retail the key with the remote control buttons um, to open the trunk and the the doors and stuff. Um, that retails for 200 bucks. And um, so anyway, he gave me gave me a good price on it. Anyway, um, so I tried that first. That didn't that didn't do it. Now the typical no start, it's the no start, no crank issue where all the lights in the dash come on, everything looks fine, but then you turn the key to position three, I guess, um, to uh, turn the starter over and it just doesn't, you don't even hear any clicking or anything, you just hear, in my case, I just heard the uh, the fuel pump going. So, um, so then the second path of least resistance was a new sw one of these new uh, clutch modules or clutch switches which means uh, there are four wires that go into this thing and um, that's another thing while I'm, while I'm thinking of it now I just so you know I, I mangled this one up just now and that's why I'm making this video because um, well, I'll get to that in a minute but let me see if in here you can see the pins and they are numbered from starting from the the right in this image they go one two three four they're numbered one two th one two three four and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get this to focus but let me see here Anyway, one, two, three, four from right to left in this video. So, if we can. Okay, you can probably see it in there. So, starting from right to left, and the numbers are, I believe, yeah, they look like they're upside down at this point or backwards or something. No, maybe not. Okay, either way, if somebody's wondering for the DME or the ESW or whatever the hell the the brains of the, the car this thing is connected to, the pins are one, two, three, four from right to left and you can Get a reference from the notches and everything in this. If you're, you know, I'm curious, I just figured I'd <coughs> film that. So, anyway, the, um, the story is um, uh, looks like I'm going to run out of time here, but uh, if I do, I do. I just edit it. Um, Okay, so anyway, 
this came out of my 2005 M3. So the 2004 wouldn't start, so I figured, okay, well, I'll just swap the, the clutch switch out of the 2005, which had no problem starting. Um, so this was the switch. I took this one out, and I put it in the 2004. And it started up once, and I thought, okay, great. Rather than try to start it up again, um, I just uh, I left it in there. I, I put it back, clipped it back onto the master cylinder, which is, again, a mistake, even though that's where it goes, because these master cylinders have a tendency to leak um, hydraulic fluid down onto these things, because if, if you know or if you don't know, when you, you, you clip the wire in, and then this little notch down here goes into the bottom of you know some plastic piece that's situated and it sits like that on the the clutch master cylinder um, and I've read stories about people saying these things fail because the hydraulic fluid leaks out of their master cylinder on this and they get the no start thing and then they check the switch and it's wet and that's why and that's why I made this video because so I left this in the 04 came back the next day um, got it to go somewhere and got the no start no start no crank issue so um, and I you know put put the panel back underneath and everything and because I thought great I'll just use this anyway um, so then I did the, the splice uh, bypass trick in the 04 and things starts no problem. So it wasn't the starter, obviously. Um, so then I put this switch back in the 05 and got the no start, no crank issue. So then I just left it there and I figured I'll get to this later. I'll buy a new switch or whatever. Um, so then today I was in the garage and I figured, you know, let me just take this thing out and take a closer look at it. So sure enough, I took this thing out, brought it up to my my bench here, and um, start, I took a close look at the pins with some magnifying glasses, and I could see that they're all. I don't, I'm not gonna waste. Uh, anyway, tr take my word for it. They're all sort of corroded in there, and I'm sure this is the original switch, and from 2005. But maybe it's not. Anyway, either way, it's a 12 year old car and this thing's probably pretty old. Not only that, but of course I checked my master cylinder and it was it was dry, but that doesn't mean that over the course of time this right here on this green part, it's dried up a little bit, but when I first bent this up, this is supposed to go, you know, flat flush down here. You can find a picture of these things on the internet. It doesn't this is not how it looks in its natural state. I I started playing around with it and all this this brown plastic around here and that's under here was really brittle and as you can see from the pieces on here it started falling apart so I started to bend this up to see if I could bend this piece up and sure enough as you can see I it's bent up so I noticed some some wet spot on there alright I gotta edit this <laughs> 